sometimes Cause I really hate it when you say goodbye Hello, hello, can I call you my Take the wheel, turn the key Never look back, nothing there to see It's straight up I would say I'm happy to see you awake and alive, but I still question the validity of your pulse. I take it you're calling out of work again today? Your keen senses are top-notch this morning. Well, aren't we a little bitch today? You would think that someone who's staying with me absolutely free of charge would be a little nicer. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm so grateful that you took me in and... I don't know how I can repay you. Well, when you're not being all mopey, you're actually pretty fun to have around. And honestly, I was on the verge of becoming a cat lady, so you've postponed that particular phase of my life. For now. You're welcome, I guess. Listen, I get what you're going through, but you are going to have to come back to work eventually, because I'm still going in, and when I don't have a boss to work for, I look not essential. Come back to work so I can keep my job, please? Maybe next week. Fine. But any later than that, and I'll have to start bringing work home for you. That's fair. I just need time. No, you need to drink more. Tonight we can do wine and chocolate. As opposed to last night's wine and cheese, or the night before that's wine and ice cream? You gotta mix it up a little. Can't fall into a routine. No, I swear you're just trying to get me so drunk I black out chain completely. I know. Isn't it great? Oh, and so you're not sitting around all day? I left a grocery list on the fridge for you to pick up while I'm at work. Holy diabetes. He needs me to take care of him. He has no one else. Yes, I love you. But I also still love Ethan. Goodbye. Coming. Jesus, I'm coming. It's wonderful to see you too. What do you want, Sam? I just want to talk. About what? Can I come in? I don't think Sarah would appreciate you being here. I will behave, I promise. Fine, just make it quick. So what is it? A little birdie told me that you and Shane broke up. What little birdie told you that? Okay, not so much a little birdie, but Facebook and Instagram photos of Ethan and Shane resurfacing, but none with you. I mean, you haven't posted anything at all in the last week. Since when are you on social media, Sam? You always hated those apps. It was a recommendation by my therapist. A way to reconnect with the outside world and um, exit my little tiny bubble of comfort. Wait, are you actually seeing a therapist on your own? 
Sam, that's great. I wouldn't call being diagnosed with bipolar disorder great. Well, I'm sorry that you don't like the diagnosis, but I am very happy that you're taking steps to get help. When were you diagnosed? The first time or the most recent? I don't get it. I'm on my third therapist in two months. I fired the first two when they diagnosed me. I, I wasn't ready to accept it. I only stuck with the third one because it was on my local insurance. <laughs> um. Okay, well, that does sound like you, but you know what? I still count that as a win. Thanks. Um, is that what you came here for? That was part of it. Okay. What else did you come here for? I came here because I want you to take me back. What? I went to a really dark place when, when you left. And I, I realize now that it was all my fault, everything. And I love you. You're the only one that I've ever loved. The only one. And I thought that if I got the help that you wanted me to get, I, I'm getting, I'm getting that help, that you would want me, you would want me back again. And when I heard about you and Shane breaking up, which I wasn't surprised to hear about, I thought now would be a good time. Sam, I can't. Why not? Sam, you and I are not healthy together. Okay, we were in a relationship for all the wrong reasons. Just because I'm single again doesn't mean I suddenly want to take you back. Remember, I didn't leave you because of Shane, I left you because of you. And no offense to your recent attempts to better yourself, but I have no desire to ever be in a relationship with you again. Well, that hurts. Sorry. It's the truth. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I don't even know why I thought you were worth it. I mean, look at you. you. You have no friends. Your family still doesn't talk to you, which you can't blame on me anymore. You have no boyfriend. And you're sleeping on your coworker's couch. You're living here. And you're probably going to get fired from your job pretty soon because you haven't been there in at least a week. Sam, how did you know where to find me? I've been going to your work almost every day for two weeks. Wanting to confront you. Wanting to hurt you the way you hurt me. And I didn't see your car, so I got, some concern I got concerned. And that's when I did some digging and I found out about Shane, <laughs> Shane leaving you to go back to Ethan, the boy with AIDS. <laughs> so I did the only natural thing at that point. I followed your favorite coworker home one day and that's when I saw your car here and I made my plan. You're not being treated for bipolar, are you, Sam? <laughs> Fuck no. I'm not even seeing a therapist. I, I did, tried, but I hated every second of it. Yeah, I told you everything that you wanted to hear and it still wasn't good enough for you. To be clear, you just admitted to lying to me again, to stalking me, my coworker, and Shane, and you're admitting to wanting to hurt me? Sam, I think it's a good time for you to go and stay gone. <laughs> Nothing. No one will ever be good enough for you, will it, John? I wish I never opened that door. It was like ripping open an old wound and pouring salt in it. Sam, you were the worst thing that ever happened to me. Do you want to hit me, Sam? Do it! You think I'm not hurting? I've been beating myself up every day this week thinking of all the mistakes I made and hating myself for it. I had a brief moment of happiness, and it was the best feeling in the world, and I was gone, so... You're right. I have no friends. I have no family. I have no boyfriend. I have nothing, Sam. There is nothing you can do to hurt me anymore. I told myself that if I couldn't win you back, I might as well make sure that you suffered. And I can tell that you are hurting. Okay, and we'll leave it at that. Speaking of pouring salt on the wound, I'll just leave you with this bit of knowledge. I met up with the boy who infected Ethan. 
<laughs> and they knew each other well before he and Shane broke up. So, what does that mean? Ethan's whole ruse was a load of bullshit and Shane dumped you for no reason. No, you're lying. How would you know that? I could be lying. But then again, maybe I'm not. You know how this community works. Everyone knows each other and everyone gossips. Okay, I'll leave you to second guess everything you thought you knew. Have fun being alone. Johnny? Katie, what are you doing here? I work here, remember? Done question. Are you okay? I'll be fine. I'll be fine insinuates that you're not fine now. Touche. Yeah, it's just been a really bad day. And it's not even noon yet. Don't remind me. Is it work? I know that place really stresses you out. Boy trouble? Ah, a tale as old as time. Was it that handsome boy that you brought in a few times? Yeah, Shane, he left me for his ex. That's a bummer. I liked him. Not helping. <laughs> Sorry. But take it from me. You don't need him. But he's all I think about. And I know we were only together for a short amount of time, but it, it honestly felt like destiny. Listen to yourself. If you and Shane are destined to be together, then you will find your way back to him. But you need to let the cards play out the way that they're meant to be. And if you and him are not meant to be together, then your destiny will eventually show up. Oh, no, I don't think I can start over. I mean, between the emotional damage from Sam and the heartbreak from Shane, I just, I don't think I'm ready to put myself out there again. Then don't. Take this time to discover you. Take this time to learn more about yourself. And for once, Stop trying to make relationships work and being there for other people. You're worth it. How can you care for someone if you don't even care for you? You know what? I think you're right. Oh, I know I'm right. <laughs> Actually, I've been through this exact situation almost. Um, I've been single for about two years right now, and I have to tell you, it's been the best two years of my life. I've taken up yoga, mountain climbing, and I have traveled more than I ever done before with any of my past girlfriends. Wait, I didn't know any of this about you. I typically don't let people in on my personal life, but you're a good soul, Johnny. Thanks, Katie. Have a good shift. Marco. Polo. Wait, you're actually still up and not in bed? Yeah, I figured I'd try something new. Do you know how long it's been since I sat down and read a book? I forgot I actually used to like doing this. 
Okay, who are you and what have you done with my emotionally damaged friend? Come sit down. I already poured you a glass of wine. Well, whoever you are, you can stay. So what did you do today? Well, a lot happened. Um, I had a confrontation with Sam. That piece And of... then I ran into Shane and Ethan. Those mother... And then, after some really good advice from an unexpected friend, I realized it didn't matter anymore. I'm not going to let them hurt me or take up any more time in my life. Well, I am glad that you're back on track, but I honestly wasn't expecting it to be like the flip of a switch. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be that easy, but you got to give it a shot, right? Oh, and I'll be coming back to work tomorrow. Good luck with that, considering it's a Saturday. I will be coming back to work on Monday. Glad to hear it. But most importantly, I need to know every single detail about what happened today. How did Sam find you? Did Shane say anything to you? Do you have any bodies that you need me to help you bury? Because I have a shovel and rope and extra large tarps. All right, why don't you go get the chocolate from the kitchen? I will pour you another glass of wine and then I'll tell you everything. And then I'm gonna question your ability to quickly hide bodies because frankly, I find that a bit disturbing. Deal. I set an alarm for 7 a.m. <laughs> what? It's a Saturday. Why are we getting up so early? For my grandmother's funeral? That's why we're at my aunt's house. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't think I'm going to go to the funeral, but you totally should. Wait, what? why wouldn't you go? We literally drove all this way. You know why. I have an immune deficiency. I really shouldn't be around large crowds. That didn't stop us from going to the club earlier this week or going out to busy mall shopping. All right, well, what if I did go? and your aunt had a cold or something and gave it to me, thus putting me in the hospital or on my deathbed? Could you live with that? Clearly not. That's why I'm here to take care of you. All right, then take care of me and stop putting your own needs ahead of mine. Hey, I'm sorry. You're right. Maybe I'll skip too. I don't want to catch something and bring it home to you. Nah, you'll be fine. You should totally go. What do you need me there for anyway? I mean, support would be nice. Well, I can support you from here. If you need anything, just text me. Gee, thanks. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Hey, so, uh, I'm gonna be a little short on cash this month. Would you mind covering electric and cable bills? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Thanks. What are you doing? I got more than just words I got more than just words You bring me songs as we like the birds So I got more than just words I got peace in my mind
I got joy in my soul. I got joy in my soul. The fact that you're half of what's making me whole puts a little joy in my soul. And I got love in my heart. That no man can tear us apart Puts a lot of love in my heart The lights are so 